welcome. As you can see, it's an absolutely stunning September day. And Julie and I say that uh, September is the best month for weather in Lanzarote. This is exactly what we mean. Perfect blue skies, very light winds, and an incredible intensity to the light. And the plan today is to stop in some of the villages on the way home. Uh, we've just been to a meeting in Puerto Calero, and this is the first of them. We're going home cross country. It's La Somada. And as you can see, the views from up here are absolutely stunning. We're looking down on uh, Puerto del Carmen, of course, and across in the distance there, you can see Puerto Ventura. Masamala sort of became a, uh, a town that people moved to when they wanted to get out of the resort of Puerto del Carmen and enjoy views from up here. We're quite high, over 300 metres above sea level. There's not much to uh, the village apart from this lovely little church. There's another row of houses there a bit further up. But the main thing you're uh, getting from this village is the view straight out to the ocean. Absolutely beautiful. So let's move on. So we're still in La Samada behind the school. There's another row of houses here and there's this absolutely beautiful little garden and playground. We've built in barbecue so anyone could come here, park in this car park, fire up a barbie and enjoy it on the picnic benches there. Now we've uh, driven along a little bit from La Samada and we've arrived in the village of Conil. Like La Samada, big houses with uh, spectacular views and uh, another gorgeous little church which you can see here. The main event from here is the view. And because we've come further along, you can now see more of Puerto del Carmen and the town of Guimi as well. gardens in these villages tend to be beautifully kept and this one's no exception. Lots of lovely canary and palms and perfect pecan. And when the traffic stops as it has now a real feeling of tranquility and peace. Now we've come yet further along the sort of central spine of the island and we've arrived in San Bartolome. It's a big town San Bartolome, it's the county town of the uh, municipality of San Bartolome, uh, which of course is home to Playa Onda and the airport as well. Uh, that mountain at the background uh, is the one where all the aerials for the island are, for the central part of the island. But from this point now, we start to get a view of Arrecife, and there is Arrecife with the Grand Hotel you can see there. And there's one other thing I want to show you in San Bartolome, so we'll move on from here. So this was the other thing I wanted to show you, the uh, go-kart track at San Bartolome. I think the uh, best track on the island, they've opened it up to, or well, the two tracks into one now. It's great fun. I've spent many a happy hour flying around here. And of course they have one of the best views on the island as well down to Arecife. An aircraft taking off from the airport come right overhead here. So that's go-karting San Bartolomeo's an airport for Lanzarote karting. 
come along the main road from uh, San Bartolome towards Teguise. Some of you will recognise the agro-industrial complex there. Um, they did a lot of, lots of experimentation in that building, um, finding out what grows here, what doesn't grow, they have a go farm as well. But next to it is something you may not have ever seen or know about, and that is the home of the model flying club of Lazzarotti. And uh, they have, as you can see, a very nice tarmac runway. They've got a terminal building there with a windsock on top. This is runway 20, um, and you'll often see a hive of activity at the weekends uh, where people bring their helicopters and model aircraft to uh, enjoy flying around here. And then across the way there, we've got a uh, sort of piece of land which is used by um, microlites, but there's another runway on the other side, but that's just grass, uh, whereas this one is a beautifully made tarmac runway. It's about 33 degrees at the moment, not bad at all for September. We've carried on from San Bartolome through the town of Teguise. We didn't stop there because this week uh, the video is all about the villages rather than the big towns that we normally go to. And this is Tezaguite. And in common with every Spanish village everywhere, there's a small church here. There's also Sociedad, which is that next building along. Uh, the signpost actually calls it a tele club. It was so called because uh, it was where the village televisions used to be in Franco's day. And this is a very rural village. There's a lovely ruin in the centre of the frame at the moment. The houses all have their own aljibes larger properties with uh, lots of land and lots of planting around them. We've come through uh, El Mojón. There wasn't a lot to show you there, but we're in Los Valles now. It's actually quite a big village, but one that many visitors to Lanzarote have never heard of. It's in a very fertile valley, hence the name Los Valles. Uh, there's lots of agriculture here. There are some gorgeous houses. There's a football pitch, as we've seen. A tele club, or a sociedad, and a couple of shops. I'm going to walk back up the road. Here. This one on the right with the big Bougainvillea and the uh, stone wall around it is one that always catches my eye as I drive through. They've got a long driveway at the front and another one at the rear. I don't think we'll be able to see into it, but it is beautifully planted both inside and outside. And there's a project going on here at the moment to fix the hills where they've been overgrazed by goats. Uh, there are sort of ravines in them where when it rains the water flows down. And uh, they're putting small walls in to prevent any further erosion. Just look at the planting on this uh, double wall at the back of the house. Los Valles is regularly named the most beautiful village in Lanzarote. And uh, walking along here, you can probably see why. And in the distance there, we've got the hill that goes up to the uh, Mirador de Aria, sort of back of the um, Famara Cliffs, and you can see that fields there are all terraced. So we've got one more stop to make. So here we are at the final stop of our little journey. 
That's the radar station you can see in the left of the frame there. At the highest point of the island now, well over 600 metres above sea level. You might recall last time I tried to film up here, it was a kind of cloudy, rainy day and uh, all we had was mist. But this time it's beautifully clear as you can see. Quite breezy up here, but then we are high. That's uh, Aria just sticking out beyond that hill and there of course is the money shop, the view to Arrieta and Punta Mujeres. This is just a lovely place to come and uh, stand here and take in the island of Lanzarote. You won't be able to see it on camera but uh, from here you can just about make out from the top of that crest the uh, sand dunes over in Fuerteventura. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed sharing a, a little journey back from uh, Puerto Calero after a meeting this morning, but taking in the small villages that we don't normally get to see on these videos. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.